Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and I'm here with your Hell in a Cell review. <laughs> and I got friend Robert here, and he's along for the ride. Yep. And uh, what did you think about tonight's show, Rob? Uh, <laughs> well, let's, start, let's start with the first match. Let's start with Cena versus Del Rio. And honestly, they really did anyone expect them to bring back Alberto Del Rio? This was the most unexpected thing I think happened that happened all night. What do you think? I was really expecting Tyler Breeze. You know, uh, Samoa Joe, Daniel Bryan, somebody, but I didn't, it's just Del Rio. I, I mean, we, we were catching this show a little bit late, and he told me, saw it on yeah, was it Instagram. Uh, I saw it on Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report, and I'm like, Del Rio, like. And he beat Cena clean. Yeah, and it was a short, shitty match. I mean, if I were to rate this, uh, man, I'd give it like. Two stars, maybe. And they brought back <laughs> Zeb Coulter and paired him with Del Rio. So, yeah, you know, not only that, but they got to do that, I guess, because Del Rio's a shitty talker. They got to get something, you know, Zeb Coulter's facial expressions were the best thing in this match. <laughs> yeah, <they were. laughs> You know, I, I mean, Cena losing clean was pretty good. But it's like Owens can't beat Cena clean. Bray Wyatt can't beat Cena clean. But... It's Del Rio yeah, it's, old people. You get a question WWE logic, you're gonna be up all night sometimes thinking about that. It's, it's like out of all people, it's Del Rio. This you know, this guy was he was wrestling Sin Cara, you know, j just a like Botch car. Yeah, a, a year ago, Botch car. This is what we got. You know, th this is the guy. You know, it's so rare when somebody beats Cena, and you're telling me that you're gonna have Del Rio. Basically a nobody. I know he's won the world championship multiple times, but he didn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. We were going on and on about this the whole night. Um, up next, you had Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt in the Hell in the Cell. And I was, I was pretty bored with this match. What did you think about this one? It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. It was average. Honestly, it was an average match. The, best. the table spot was Yeah, there were some cool. good spots, actually. There were some good spots, but overall, I mean, it wasn't great. Predictable finish. We all knew Reigns was gonna win. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna. I don't. I think you're right. You're saying the feud's not over. Yeah, they might have like a five on five match. Now you got the Wyatt family back, and again we'll get to later with the Undertaker. Yeah, the never ending feud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna keep going on and on and on. Uh, up next, you had um, a rating for this match. Two and a half stars, maybe. The table spot was good, but really it was just a lot of kendo sticks. And, you know, that's the only weapons you get nowadays kendo sticks and chairs. You know, can we get trash cans, you know, cookie sheets, fire extinguishers, like something else to liven it Shopping up? Shopping carts. Yeah, the same weapons, anything. Yeah, the carts, you know, back in the day, I mean, what is it, too violent? You know, we could use kendo sticks and chairs, but you can't use anything else. Um, then you had New Day defeating the Dudleys. And, you know, this was just plain. Not really bad, but nothing great. Mm -hmm. I guess the Dudleys are never going to win the belts, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with that. I kind of wanted to see the Dudleys win the belts one more time. But, you know, New Day... You know, and not having Xavier Woods there, like it was a good pre-match promo, but without Woods there, but you don't want him to miss his wedding, do you? Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. Or showing him all in the, uh, you know, in the hospital and everything. We up. we all know where he is. He he's getting married. Um, but you know, I guess it was just weird timing. But this was just, you know, I give it like a star. You know, very uneventful. Really a star? Not yeah, more than that. Yeah. What would you give it? I give it, I don't know, maybe two stars? Two stars? I don't know. I, that, I, I, I'm not as generous, I <laughs> yeah. guess. It's, it just it didn't do it for me. It was just so plain and boring. Mm -hmm. And we've already seen this match a number of times before. So I can't really give it any more than that. Um, then you had uh, Charlotte defeating Nikki. Um, this was okay. It was all right. You know, I, I kind of liked the the ending a little bit. You know, it was a little botched, the German suplex off the top. Yeah. But the Alabama slam on the apron, you know, I actually thought for a minute Nikki was going to win. You know, but uh, 
You know, uh, oh, what, what did you you said you read that story online about the reason why they're having Nikki Bella? Yeah, because she's not really that she can't. She's not really that good. She can't really do like a fast paced match, so they have to slow it down by having her focus on like one body part. Slow and boring, that methodical bullshit because mm-hmm. she can't hold her own in the ring. But yeah, they gotta keep her at the top because a big match, John. You know, so you know as long as you're related to John Cena in any way, I guess you're gonna you know you're gonna. Be at the top. Um, then we had uh, Rollins and Kane. Um, <laughs> I think the promo was better than the promo before the match was actually better than the actual match. I mean, it was just a lot of Kane no selling. I was a bit surprised by the clean finish. I mean, we were both I mean, shocked. Good, good for Rollins. I think he deserved the clean win. Good yeah, I mean, after you know losing for months on end and getting cheap victories. You know, he's actually uh, actually managed to beat Kane. That's really how it should be at this stage mm-hmm. in the game. It shouldn't have Kane being this powerful, and, you know, and, and being at the top. Um, at least maybe this might be the end of corporate Kane, hopefully. I hope he stays away from good. I've been asking for how many, you know, how long on YouTube, asking for Kane to fucking retire already. It's enough with him already, but, you know... Um, I was surprised we were go- we were going back and forth about how we thought this match would end. You know, we were thinking DQ. Yeah, they had Thanos. a lot of different possibilities, but you know, I think that they gave Rollins a clean win. I think that was a good finish. It was. It, that was probably the best thing in this match. I mean, they could have had another good moment with the power bomb, yeah, but that was a wah, wah, wah. Yeah, was the table one. We'll be seeing that on Botchamania, I'm sure. You know. <laughs> The table will like be <laughs> laughing in the video. You know, we all know what's gonna happen. Um, you know, it's a botcha mania moment without a doubt. Then we had um, uh, Kevin Owens defeating Ryback. Think about that. You had the Intercontinental Title match come after the World Title match. Yeah, you know, it, it, and you said that. And the thing was, you know, I had looked at some like wrestling analysis for years. They say this is because they didn't want like the heat. To be lost, like if they had like a, a big match, they don't want the crowd to be worn out. But then, you know, you had brought up about King of the Ring, and that reminded me that you had, um, I believe it was Taker and Mick Foley, yeah. and then it was Stone Cold versus and Kane right after it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just one example out of many. You know, you, you could just think of numerous pay per views through the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era, whatever back-to-back big matches and mm-hmm. it's kind of embarrassing and, and this match quite frankly it, it sucked it was over you know yeah like five minutes i love to see the actual match it had to be less than 10 minutes that was, a, that was like, six yeah. or seven minutes really you know i thought they were trying to build ride back like he was reborn he was re-energized you know he read a book and all of a sudden he's a He's a brand new wrestler, but he's the same guy. People are lying, saying that, you know, Ryback is a new, you know, he's refreshed, inspired, and I just see the same guy, you know, talking about eating, eating negativity. More. Yeah, eating, you know, it's like enough with the, the eating, like, uh, metaphors and everything. Eat this, eat that, you know, eat my cock, <laughs> basically have to say. You know, uh, hopefully Kevin Owens moves on to something new and better. Should be in the main event. You know, side, how about agree. Seth Rollins and, and Kevin Owens both winning clean? How about that? That's what we were saying. Like, this was the night of the clean wins. I mean, you know, no eye rakes, no nothing, you know, no weapon shots. We were kind of surprised. Mm-hmm. You know, the heels were going over clean. And, you know, it's kind of like a lot of times this kind of ruins wrestling psychology a bit, though, with heels having to cheat to win. Mm-hmm. But, you know... After you see these guys like losing to Cena, it's just good to see them win. So, you know, I'm not going to complain. We're both pretty happy about that. And, um, you know, this match, I don't even know uh, what I would rate it like a star. What about the Kane Rollins match? Oh, I didn't rate that that one. Um, (laughs) Star and a half? (laughs) It's star and three quarters. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I think I should like drop these star ratings for the matches because it's like I have to figure out does it deserve a quarter of a star? Like, you know, it's kind of ridiculous these star ratings. You know, there's too much, you know, uh, astrology going, astronomy going on here is the term. Not, 
you know, not astrology, astronomy, you know, it's the stars, the Big Dipper, you know, I give this two Big Dippers out of ten, you know, star, I, I mean, not Jim Cornette and star ratings, but, you know, I, I don't know, that, anyway, the, the main event, this is what it was all about, nobody cared about any of these other matches, but the main event was fucking awesome, mm-hmm. it was a bloody match. The trainer was in there. The trainer got attacked. He got thrown out the ring. Michael was saying about the fanny pack. (laughs) Brock Brock Lesnar just... The fanny pack. (laughs) The fanny pack. Threw that fanny pack wearing motherfucker out the ring. Like, flew 10 feet. And uh, one thing that I really liked about this match, I don't know if it's happened. Tell me down in the comments. It's similar to with with the Nexus. Yeah, when they ripped apart... Yeah, but it was like they didn't like do it on the ring. This yeah. he ripped like the whole canvas off it and the wood like was exposed. Out. Yeah. You know, this is a good way of showing people who say, Oh, it's fake. You know, showing how thin it's like just like a gym mat. This is what the wrestlers are wrestling on every mm-hmm. night. And the big choke slam right on it. Too much star on it, yeah, yeah. five on it. Yeah, all these different moves right on the the wood, you know, that, that's pretty much as bare bones as you could get, no mats, no nothing, and yeah, you know, it was a it was a good finish as well. You know, getting them back with the low blow and the F five. Um, you know, the only thing if I, there was like really no negatives. The only thing is I fucking hate when the trainers get in there and try to you know dab them up. You know, mm-hmm. like ridiculous. It's like mommy coming in there with a band aid. At least the trainer got attacked this time. Yeah, that that that's what I'm saying. That was hilarious when he just fucking threw his ass. Um, but this was like, you know, and I really like the standing ovation at the end. I mean, Taker is a legend. You see, you said that you think he's going to be inducted next year. No, it's in Houston. Um, that's his hometown. Yeah, that that's be, a good point, yeah. actually. You know, that, that you know, WrestleMania is going to take place in Texas next year. It would be perfect. I mean, the man's a legend. And now we learned he's going to be at Survivor Series. 25th anniversary of his debut. And that's what happened after the... Um, after the match, the Wyatts came in and attacked Taker. Uh, so I guess you're going to have him involved in some uh, big tag match. And, you know, the thing, what did I say right away to you? They're going to have Roman Reigns in that match, and he's going to stand next to Taker. Going to steal more, you know, heat from another wrestler. Can't get Roman Reigns yeah, over? Yeah, they're gonna, that's, that's how they're going to do it. They might even start booing the Undertaker if he goes back. Have him stand next to Daniel Bryan. You know, have him stand next to Dean Ambrose. Have him stand next to The Undertaker. All popular stars that people actually like, that have talent. And I think you were saying mm-hmm. that Roman, this would be a great time for Roman Reigns to come out and help The Undertaker when the Wyatts were attacking you know, him. No, I thought it would be a way of, like, you know, getting him more popular. But you're right, that they would just probably be cheering they The might, Wyatts. They might start cheering for The Wyatt family then. <laughs> There's no hope for Roman Reigns. I mean, just everybody hates him. When is McMahon going to learn? You know, he's going to tag him up with Taker, and, and still nothing's going to change. They're still going to hate him. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't matter. We've had all this time between, uh, you know, the WrestleMania to get Roman Reigns over, and he's still not over. Because they, they really haven't booked him to what he's good at. I mean, he's good at spearing people. He's good at doing short matches. And as you said, he's all look. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing... He, you know, and I, and I said it to you during the the Bray Wyatt Roman Reigns match. It's basically Bray Wyatt is the total opposite of Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. He's a guy who could talk. He's a guy who could wrestle. He's not much on the looks, though. <laughs> exactly, the total opposite. You know, but uh, it's kind of like an embarrassing comparison. Um, you know, so yeah, Survivor Series, The Undertaker getting involved. It's you know something to look forward to, I guess. In a wrestling world full of nothing to look forward to. Um, so, got any closing comments you'd like to make? Anything you're looking forward to, Rob, with this you know, great I'm wrestling ex- world? <laughs> well, again, this was the, the same main event from No Mercy 2002. Just want to bring that up. Oh, yeah, it's true. Same month, actually, still. That was because No Mercy was replaced by Helen herself. But I'm, I'm actually looking forward to see what they do with... You know, the Undertaker and the Wyatt family and see if Roman Reigns is still going to be involved in the feud. Maybe they'll put Kane in the feud. Uh, you know, maybe, Bo, maybe, maybe Bo Dallas will join his brother. Join the, Wyatt the only thing is he would look so out of place, you know, mm-hmm. a clean-shaven face among these ginormous beards. Mm-hmm. I mean, he just look 
I mean, he's related to him, but... Eh. But, you know, we, we were talking history, and that was pretty interesting how it's 13 years later, and Hell in the Cell basically replaced No Mercy, and, uh, you know... It was the same main event. Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker and Hell in the Cell. I don't know which Hell in the Cell I prefer, though. Um, you were saying that maybe this one... Each one had their own yeah. moments. Yeah. This might have actually been more brutal. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They both had a lot of blood. Know. I don't know about that. You know, Heyman was even bleeding in the mm-hmm. other one. You know, Heyman didn't bleed in this one. But, uh, you know, I guess we got to do more multiple viewings to see which is the better Hell in the Cell. They didn't really mention the other Hell in the Cell. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe because they're embarrassed they did this 13 years ago. And this is the main event now. You know, relying on a 50-year-old man. <laughs> to put your company over, you know, McMahon relying on, you know, uh, and we were discussing this about Sting collapsing, you know, and, and other people, you know, older wrestlers. Jerry Lawrence's heart attack. Yes, I mean, you know, wh- how, how, what do they have to have, like, somebody die in the ring before they fucking get the hint that, you know, they can't rely on their old timers yet forever. I mean, you know, Taker looked great in there. He really did. I mean, the guy was moving around. Having a classic match at 50 years old, but you can't rely on Taker forever. I mean, the man is 50. I mean, you guys like grasp that concept. I mean, there's there's only a, amount of th- a certain amount of time before his body gives out. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of selfish that McMahon expects this much of Taker. And, well, Taker is willing to do it. He loves the business, but... You know, I don't want Taker to retire, but it might be in his best interest. And, you know, now he's going to go on to Survivor Series. I mean, I personally thought that if you were going to retire, this would be a great match to do it in. But a great match to do it in would be yeah. WrestleMania 30 after he lost to Lesnar. That's first. true, and the streak was over. I mean, I'm still happy we got to see a lot more great matches from them. But, um, yeah, I mean, if he's going to still continue to wrestle, I'm not happy about it, but I kind of feel that we're a little bit selfish as wrestling fans, you know, wanting to see more and more of Taker. And then when his body gives out, and you know, like with staying in the ring, you know, it, it, we're not going to be happy. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, so that was the show. I mean, what would you give this show 1 out of 10? Um, you know, I might, I, might, I might actually have to give it a 6. I, it was, I mean, the main event just really, really it boosted made, it up. Yeah. This was really like a one match show. Mm-hmm. I mean, we kind of knew that coming into this. We all knew that you know Rollins and Kane wasn't going to be anything that great. Um, so yeah, I would maybe go with like a five <laughs> to be generous because this the last match was really it was a good match and. You know, I don't know like how well it will be remembered, but I think it's a classic just based on it being Taker. So, uh-huh. yeah, there you go. Hell in a Cell, motherfuckers. It wasn't great, but a great main event. And, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, Rob. Uh-huh. Big thumbs up. Yeah. yeah.